Hi guys, it's the 13th of January today and I've just received an order from Opalac. This isn't sponsored at all. I have just been wanting to be able to try out at home gel nails. I haven't ever even had gel nails, but I don't like the idea of going out to a salon to get it done. I want to be able to do it myself. And I got a little bit of uh, Christmas money. So I have got now Christmas presents <laughs> in the form of this Opalac kit. I did get a starter kit, uh, some remover wraps, a few extra shades of polish and a travel case. So I'm just gonna have a look at what I've got here. So I did order an extra top and base coat as well. And they had like a big sale on their website for Boxing Day. So everything I got was a bunch cheaper. I think I found a coupon code as well. I got the color Luami Azure. This one is Happily Ever After. It's like a shimmery pink. This one is the shade White Diamonds, which is like a light gold. Here are the remover wraps. The removal process has always been like the worry to me, like, oh my God, you know, it's gonna take a lot for it to come off and two, are my nails gonna be damaged by this? So I wouldn't be looking to do this all that often. Since ordering the Opalac starter kit and all the other things, I actually came across Sistico and Sistico make powders that you use and they're like mineral based. They use an LED light versus a UV light. I ended up feeling like the Sistico might be the better alternative. <laughs> And maybe I shouldn't have ordered the Opalac stuff. I've ended up ordering the Sistico stuff as well. So I can give these both a shot and see which one I like the best. Apparently that one will last for a couple of weeks as well. So it's not like that's the compromise for their system. So I'm really excited to try both of these. This one has arrived first as this is the first one I ordered and who knows how long with all the um, postal delays, the Sistico one will take to get here. This one is the glitter gel in rose quartz. This one came in the starter kit. I'm glad I ordered online because at Priceline, they only had their basic starter kit and I wasn't really keen on their colors in that. Whereas I was able to, on the website, order the glitter starter kit, which included both the rose quartz and this one, which is called Gold Digger. So a rose gold and a gold glitter gel. A few instructions there, a nail file, a buffing block. I did read reviews saying that perhaps this buffing block it's a bit harsh for some nails. I really don't want to like badly damage my nails. The Sistico powders, they don't require buffing of your nails. So that's another draw towards going for them, but oh well, I'd already ordered this. There's no returns. We're gonna try it out. Got another top and base coat. So that was in the starter kit. The two-in-one shine and soak solution to remove it, which is what you use with these. Here is the travel case. This I just thought would be like a really easy way to store them in my cupboard. It was, I think $12 or something. I'm happy with that. This is the light. Something else, the Sistico LED lamp, it turns itself off after a minute. And this one, I think you have to have your nails under for 90 seconds. I also separately off of eBay, I think, ordered myself a pair of anti-UV gloves. They go up to your nails. So I will be wearing them just in case this is at all harmful to my skin. See, lots of concern for someone who wants to stay healthy and all of that. <laughs> Fancy. Just to remove the polish. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to remove. Another thing that the Sistico do, they have a remover solution that you brush on and leave to sit a little bit and it starts to like bubble and the polish will come away. So that seems pretty easy as well. So I have to give a point to them, but these are all just initial impressions. Once I actually go to use these things, maybe I will find certain things aren't quite what they say they are or that there's just different things I hadn't thought about that might sway me one way or the other. Okay, got all this stuff here. I'm going to try out the rose quartz today. That sounds good to me. 
Nails are shaped and washed. I do have to move on to buffing now. It says 10 seconds each nail, but this does seem very coarse, so I'm gonna be very light with it. Done. Restart, next nail, all buffed. Now it says just dust away any debris with a tissue. Apply the gel base coat and cure for 90 seconds. Base coat on the one hand, let's cure it. Oh, I don't have the gloves on. Firstly, that feels super weird. For a second then it kind of felt hot and painful. Just put it out there. I don't think it should have felt hot and painful. It feels all right now. Definitely I'm gonna go get those gloves though. Very, very weird. Okay, gloves. They are definitely sticky. If I put the glove on, I think I'll, I'll ruin the whole thing. So apply two color coats, cure each coat for 90 seconds. Don't know how people make this look so easy. No, it's not play time. Here we go to cure them. Time for the second, second coat and cure. Oh, it's, it feels painful again. It feels all right now, but there's like just a moment each time I put them in where it's like, ow. I don't know, I got a bit messy with this one. And this one, look at that, oh no. God, this is a mess. Hands can get really shaky. Okay, top coat's on. And cured, apparently. God, they're messy. I've done a really poor job and that was my using my dominant hand. So what chance do I have doing this hand? Let's do this hand. I will just see you once I've got it down, okay? Ow! It really hurts. Like, am I the only one that that happens to? Why does that feel so painful? Hey Google, why does curing gel nail polish hurt me? On the website nailsmag.com, they say, usually the nails will hurt during the curing process because the tech over prepped and thinned out the nail. I just got some in my hair uh, from my thumbnail. Note to self, tie hair back when painting nails. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I have literally been filming this portion, like when I changed angles for 50 minutes. I thought this was gonna be simple and I just feel like I'm not doing it right. I need to get it out of my hair. So my nails are done, but I'm not loving like how messy the thumb is or this one. And I really was trying to be so careful. I spent like a whole hour doing this, an hour to get kind of mediocre looking results. They're all feeling like really solid, like I'm not gonna chip into them or anything. So I'm feeling good about that. I found it really difficult to try and cap them because of how short they are. I wanna clean them up, but I don't know if I can. Okay, I fixed them up so that they're not as messy looking and that's made me a lot happier. Surprisingly, I painted with my non-dominant hand a bit better. There's still some sort of mess, but it's not too bad, I can live with that. I'm gonna see how these go. So they are pretty, and I think they should be all right, but what is very worrying is that it actually caused me pain to cure the nails. So maybe they were just being overzealous by saying 10 seconds. Maybe I needed to be even lighter. Maybe I needed to use a less coarse buffing block. Perhaps my nails, or maybe it just happens with my nails. I have never tried this before. I haven't had them done in a salon or anything. So I'm unsure, but probably now I will wait till I receive my Sistico order. I'll take these off and I will try the Sistico see whether I have pain through that. If I do take a break, let my nails completely grow out again in case I did over buff them somehow. Pain isn't a good thing. So even though my nails look pretty, in the future, maybe I try and not buff them at all and put the gel polish on and see whether it will stay or whether it just won't work. But the main thing, not buff them at all, put it on, 
see if I get that pain again. And if I get that pain after not having buffed my nails, I don't think I can keep using this. Why can't I just do like anything without there being a but? <laughs> These are pretty, but it was painful to do. Anyway, I'll see you another day.